Hey there fellows, Buddy Spike here. I have over 150 hours on Flight Simulator 2020, but I was flying third person in Flight Simulator because the visibility inside the cockpit is not as great as a uh, fighter jet. So I kind of feel suffocated when I fly in first person for commercial aircrafts. So VR really helps me to have a comfortable visual feedback when I'm inside the cockpit of a non-combat aircraft. Even though the windows are tiny, um, I don't have problem with situational awareness when I'm in VR. So since VR has arrived, I have for the first time performed a cool start procedure with the help of a Discord buddy and took off in first person. So just to let you know, I'm using an A3 mod as well. I'll have the link in the description. So enjoy the video, fellas. Okay, yeah. So you open your ATC. Can you open your ATC in the VR? Yeah, you can, you can, you can open VFR maps and everything. Cool, cool, cool. So the ATC says that the electrical systems must be turned on because there are no electrical systems on at the current moment, right? Yeah. So what you do is you go to the central panel, right? Okay. The central panel. Uh, so in Airbuses, uh, no, 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 top head. So uh, in Airbuses, what we do, we generally go from up to down, then again up to down, then again up to down. Oh, okay. First of all, you will see a bat one and bat two. The right underneath the the right next to the voltage meters that you're seeing right now. Ah, okay. Yeah, bat one and bat two. Yeah, perfect. Just turn them on. All right, bat one right. and bat two. Your plane should come to life. Perfect. Yeah. So you tune into ground services, uh, ATC. Okay, using the ATC. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you request a power truck. Power Fresh supply. Power supply. Madeira Ground Airbus Alpha Sierra X Ray Tree 20. Could you please send a ground power unit? Okay. You can close Airbus this. Alpha Sierra X Ray Tree 20. Yeah, now unit you can close it. All right. Perfect. Now you can click that button, that external power avail. Oh, where are these lights coming from? Oh, okay. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a truck underneath your yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. plane. All right, yeah. now. Oh my god, you got GPWSs on as well. Holy shit. I need this mod. <laughs> I have no idea okay. what that is. Um, Anyways. You, in the cockpit, right, when you're about to land, there, there's this guy who's like 50, 40, 30. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Right? That thing, that system is known as the GPWS. Ah, okay. That is also so, in the base game, isn't it? Yeah, this is in the base game, but you can't modify it. You can't toggle it. Mm, so, okay. The only way you can actually start a GPW is by navigations and GPS. You need to calibrate it. But this thing, this game, sends the plane pre-calibrated, which is not really realistic and ideal. So, yeah, uh -huh. I, I prefer something realistic. Now, there should be a green colored button which says avail. This is the only button which has a little green light on it. Uh, on the top panel? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, on the top panel, but right below the wattage. Right below the wattage, yeah. Green button, uh, yeah, exit yeah. power. Yeah, available. Right. Click it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right, the MFDs Perfect. are turning on. Satisfying sound. Okay. Now you Things are shutting up. Your air conditioner. These are not the engines. These are the air conditioners and everything starting up. The auxiliary. Right, right. Shit. Because the batteries can't. Okay, now now you can see, right now it says that GPS isn't available, am I right? Map not available, yeah. Yeah, exactly. What he's supposed to do is, from here, I can't do this in my plane. Only you can do it, so... Damn! Go back to the top panel, but this time, not the central panel, go back to the left-hand side panel. Left there should be side. three dials, and all three of those dials should be on the leftmost side. Send, set them to nav. Nav. Again, nav. Again, nav. Right. Wait for them to get calibrated. Okay. okay. Now, GPS. It said it should say fault, but you need to press them. It's, it's actually calibrating. It's actually calibrating currently. All right. Uh, screw this. Screw this. Uh, wait. All right. I think it's done. Okay. Now turn on all the fuel pipelines. Fuel pipeline. Center panel. Center panel. Uh, uh white. And it's saying fault. Uh, pump. Okay, yeah, yeah, these are turn on like pumps. Okay, on, 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 on. Okay. 
Okay. Perfect. Uh, turn off the uh, engine generators. Uh, they're in yellow and they're displaying a fault. This one? Yeah. yeah. Engine generators. Fault. Okay. Okay, cool. Now turn on your beacon and nav light and set your nose uh, to taxi only. Um, that's the center bottom left panel. Center set of buttons. bottom left panel. Anti ice yeah. and okay, yeah. beacon, yeah. turn it on. Yeah. Strobe on. No, 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 not strobe. Okay. Uh, nav lights. Uh, beacon on and uh, nav lights, nav lights. Which one is? The nav lights, nav and logo. You uh, can nav see and logo, okay. On. Got it. And, and and the one underneath nav and logo set it to taxi. Alright. Perfect, 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 okay. perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, aiders have been completely set. Okay, you won't get your map. You actually, never mind, you got your oh, map. I got it, I got it. Perfect. Got it. Okay. Now all you need to do is. That's it. This is it. You're done. Alright. Like, that's it? Now. Yeah, now we are going to move on to starting the engines. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it's like, okay, you know, engines have started. No, man, sorry. <laughs> Look up again and turn on the APU master button. It's the centermost button, but on the bottom of the central panel. Bottom of the central panel. All right, got it. APU yeah, master right start or? Yeah, master, master. Master switch, okay. Okay, okay. Now click on the APU bleed switch. APU bleed switch. Which one it's is right that? Right above. It's above the APU master switch and above the probe window heat. Ah, got it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Now wait for a second, and there should be a button underneath the APU master switch. Click it. Yeah. Start. Start. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now look down. Uh, right underneath your throttle. Right there should be a selector. Engine mode selector. It's the center. Yeah. yeah. You got it. You got it. Set it to start, ignition and start. All right. Turn on engine one. Oops. Engine one. Okay, now look at the panel and let the N1 uh, stabilize. Wait, Slowly. Ah, uh, yes, deadly. yes, yes. Got it, got it. It's right over here. Yeah. Let the N1 stabilize. Uh huh. So you can't start two engines at the same time, is it? You can, but you're not supposed to. Oh. Why not? Can you can you hear it? Can you hear the hum? I, I think I might have uh, slowed down the engine sound. Okay, uh, just, uh, can, you, can you look it externally? Is it possible right. in VR? Yeah, yeah. Look? Hold on. Okay. Try looking at your oh, yeah. left and right. Wait, hold on. Is it spinning? Yeah. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Starting our engines. Now, one engine's on, I'll tell you how to start the other one. There are two ways. One, you can provide the first engine's power to the other engine, oh. which is also known as the engine ram or intake. Okay. But you don't really need to do that because that's an emergency systems only that you're unable to use. Okay. Go to the ATC section and just tell the ATC to off. Oh, okay. uh, I mean, the power supply. <laughs> you don't yeah. need it anymore. <laughs> All right. It's a little complex, right? We haven't gone over like. 10 different things, but screw it. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, power supply end. Alright, got it. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Now this guy's gonna go away. Cool. Turn the uh, engine 2. One second. Okay, turn engine 2. Okay, engine 2 on. This one, right? Yeah. Alright. Okay, wait for it to stabilize. Oh. All right, engine two is turning on. Ah, uh, yeah, it's starting to spin slowly. You know what? You know what? FS twenty twenty is actually missing the real thing. Like what real thing? The hot air balloon from FSX. <laughs> Dude, I've already made a video on that. Come on, what are you, what are you talking shit. about? That, that, that needs to be there, man. Me oh, and my so buddy cool. flew a hot air balloon in formation. So okay, yeah. How many knots? Four hundred? Five hundred? Six hundred? Yeah, well, not that's not that fast, but it was about like 200 knots, I think. Okay, so your engine is already started. Yeah. Uh, switch the selector to normal. Selector? Which selector? This selector? Yeah, yeah. Set it to normal. All right. Got it. Turn engine generator one and two on. This one? 
No, no, no. I uh, remember those lights, the yellow color button, which oh, I asked yeah. you to turn off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right next to it. Oh, and Good. This holes. Okay, turn off the APU. Turn off the uh, APU bleed. APU bleed. Uh, it's the center down button, remember? Center. This one. Turn this off and turn the other one also off, the one below it. Okay, master. Master yeah, switch, right? Turn it off. Okay. Turn it off. This one, Perfect. turn on APU. It, it doesn't matter, it's gonna go off on its own. Alright. APU is like a miniature in And. You're good to go! Set okay. flaps one and ask for taxi IFR clearance, and that's it. Nice. Request a pushback, you're done. Screw clearance, I'm just gonna set the flaps to take off position. And. Uh, okay, and parking brake off. So I'm gonna use a reverse thrust as a pushback, yeah. if you don't mind. Okay, uh, I think I'm pushing back a lot more than I should. So I'm gonna push back the whole way <laughs> to the start of the runway. Well, I don't want to take off, please. No. Okay, that's so wrong. I know, but uh, well. why am I asking pushback right now? Okay. You know what? We could we could uh, take off in formation if you want. But wait a second. Yeah, you don't have the. Front. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I yeah. don't know if I will be able to take off. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Maybe. Accelerating to full power now. Let's try to have the center line maintained. And rotate. That's some nasty tail strike, man. <laughs> What's going on over there? Okay, I could hear those vibrations I you're don't talking think about. So. I can't. I can't take off. Oh, I took off. Holy shit! All right, the plane just naturally took off. Beautiful. It says that I was, was not cleared for takeoff. <laughs> that was my officially first cold start, engine start, and takeoff. And landing gear is up. I think it was pretty oh, good. That was not landing gear. Hold on. Landing gear is up. <laughs> All right. I kind of feel proud of myself right now. Thanks for the help, man. Anytime, man. Anytime. Once you're, you're at wanna... the, once you're you're at your rig, maybe you could uh, even fly it together sometime. Yeah, we should. We should. We should. Oh, I can I'm see the scratches on the windows. It's, I'm telling you, the game's actually pretty detailed. I'm amazed. I haven't seen a flight sim as detailed as this one. Mm -hmm. Well, in forever. So. Uh -huh. What about FSX? Google. I think you have experience with FSX. I yes. FSX was such a basic game. They uh -huh. had the they they had the technical knowledge. They had it all. Okay. So every function in the plane was usable. So kudos to FSX for that. It was actually good. Uh huh. But the graphics and, and the detailing and the ground detailing was, uh, let's just say it was even below subpar. It, it uh -huh. gave you the GTA San Andreas vibes. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> San Andreas. Yeah. Right. So, if, if, if you're talking about usability and uh, their their technical development and reconstruction for the plane, for that 10 time. on 10. Love it. But in terms of the appeal, nah, it would just, it would just appeal to people who actually you know, want to fly professionally, and they I don't see. really give a shit about graphics. Mm -hmm. This game actually appeals to everyone. Yeah, I've I've had people who don't, they they have never ever played a flight sim, right? But yeah. they were so amazed by the landmarks and shit right. that they were like, you know what? I'm gonna buy the game pass and I'm gonna play it for like a month or two because it looks good. It's actually a pretty good game. It is, it is, it is. Clouds are amazing when you go above.